So I thought I would just do kind of a random video on a few different tanks just to kind of give you some content for the week. I hadn't had a chance to do a lot of recording. Sometimes I do my recordings in advance, so this week I hadn't. So um, recorded this video today, the same day that it's uploading, and I just wanted to show you a few different tanks. Um, one that's coming along real nicely, as you can see behind me here, is the 90 gallon planted tank. And we're just gonna go ahead and turn the camera around. As you can see, it's uh, coming along nicely. The carpet has finally filled in all except this little area right in the front, which we're working on. Um, I'm just kind of letting it grow out of control right there before I start trimming to, you can see some of the Monte Carlo stems are um, uprooted or growing upwards, but eventually once this covers completely, um, I'll do some trimming down there. But you can see this part here is completely covered and uh, grown in thick and that's real nice you can see some sherry shrimp throughout their grazing and then the aerial vietnam is basically ready for a trim um, it's already starting to kind of overgrow on the rock structure um, looking to add some more shrimp to the tank so there'll be some more cherry shrimp hopefully soon um, up there and in a few different areas, there's some Fissidens Fontanus as well. But overall, this tank is coming along really nicely. This is a 90 gallon planted tank. I'm using Phoenix Planted Plus lights, two of them, running CO2, and I'm dosing um, Thrive S, which is the shrimp safe version. Probably try some easy green next when I run out of the Thrive. But uh, yeah, it's, it's doing real good. And uh, you know, all the uh, old black be Blackbeard algae problems I had were, uh, were uh, eradicated and hopefully I'll keep them that way. So looking good. We'll take a quick look at Cheeto. He just had a water change. He's the tank right next door. So I thought I would show him. Him and his female are doing good. Uh, they're about ready to spawn again. And we got a ton of reflection here, so I apologize for that. But her tube's been down and they've been messing around in the pot. And uh, I think with the water change that I just did today, things should really kickstart. There you can see me in the background <laughs> in the glare. But hey, um, thought I would just quickly show you these guys. All right, so I'll take you and show you a couple other tanks real quick. We'll try to keep this video short, but I'm coming out of my office uh, into the family room where the 125 gallon reef is and also the uh, little bio cube back there. Um, that's been recovering nicely. I'll do a video separately on that soon, but I uh, thought I would just show you the 125, even though I just did a video last week on it. So I'll turn the camera around here. So the 125 is coming along nicely, as I told you in the last video. I'm not putting on a filter on this video, so it's gonna look a little bit more blue. Hoping to pick up a few fish soon. Um, saw some deals out there that I'm interested in, but the fish are all doing good. Um, the corals are doing fairly good. The one nice thing that's been happening lately is this torch in front of you right here with the green tips. Um, I've had trouble with it since I got it and it's coming on. It's probably nine months old now. It's finally starting to open up um, and grow. So that's really got me pumped. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that does. One other thing is that the NEM, you can see behind the rock there, usually it's up kind of all on top of this rock. It's been kind of um, down a little bit more lately and it did split. The other piece of him is down there. And then I still have this NEM that likes to hang out over there on the wall. So that's cool that it's split again. Um, other than that, I don't know, not much to talk about, I guess. Uh, I really have been digging this uh, um, mushroom colony right here too. So anyway, that's a quick look at the reef. So I'll take you downstairs now and uh, just show you a couple tanks that have really been uh, um, I don't know, that I've been really digging lately. First one is going to be the Feste tank right behind me. And then I'll real quickly show you 
the 210 with the arowana motas and some other fish in them just do a quick 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 scan around the fish room if you are new to this channel i do regular updates on the fish room and show all the tanks i breed shrimp i keep large cichlids and i have two saltwater tanks as you saw just before so let's turn the camera around and look at these last two tanks all right so the feste are looking real nice there's a little bit of algae on the tank. I didn't prepare for this video like I do a lot of times, so excuse that. But the female is looking real colorful lately. Um, before I started recording the video, she was even more colored up. I think he might have been harassing her a little, and that's why she's down below these tubes right now. Let's move this away. Um, male's looking good. They're about due to, to uh, spawn again, I'm hoping, so let's keep that. Um, keep your fingers crossed on that. I'd like to really start raising out some fry here. Um, a lot of people ask, too, um, as far as what I feed my fish, and I've talked about it a ton of times, but I'm just going to show you real quick here. These fish, I feed the um, Southern Delight Power Feed. Um, my company, Aquatic Support Systems, does sell this in the bottles and also in uh, bulk sizes. And um, if you buy Southern Delight and you like the two pound bags that we um, had been carrying, those are going away, as I said before. So um, get what's left of those while you can. But the new bottles with the shaker tops are actually in. Got to get them labeled and got to get them up on the website, but those will be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Quick look at the male red as latest here too. Sorry, I said I was gonna show you the air on a tank. I did put some Savoldi in this tank. Gonna kind of see how that works out. Those are a couple of the smaller ones, but um, I don't know. Anyway, onto the arowana tank. This has been kind of a fun little tank for me lately. And when I say little, I really mean big. <laughs> um, by the way, here is the Midas. That was Cheeto's brother's spawn that was kind of the lone lone barred Midas that was over in that tank. I think I showed you in the last video that I had moved him or said I was going to. About a week or so after I moved him, actually I moved him, he was doing fine in here for about a week. I went on vacation for a week, came back and he had peeled. Now he's light orange and black, which is something totally different for me as far as a Midas goes but I'm looking forward to seeing how this works out. I've already noticed growth just from a few weeks of being in a, in a much better, bigger tank. The male moda is doing real good up here too. Turning into a stud. Lost two silver dollars, I think the moda off them. The loaches are doing good. The female moda is healing up. Um, there's some loaches in the tube there. See if I can find her quickly. I can't, but she's doing all right. I think these two may, may do okay. The other thing that's in this tank now that you can't even see, but I picked up some Freddy's from James Randall. That's who I also got the Sebuldi from. And so I've got, I don't know, five or six or so Freddy's, smaller Freddy's in here. Don't know if they'll survive or not, but we'll see and if they start to grow that would be cool and i'll end up separating them probably maybe i'll leave them in here and kind of have this as a community tank which is pretty much what it is right now quick look at magnus since we're down here another quick look at optimus and one final thing i guess i'll show you is these uh trimax over here have spawned again there's some eggs they've had at least two times now she's a little beat up he's rough on her but they do okay um they've had at least twice now where they made it to free swimmers but then the fry either get eaten or die in some way shape or form but uh i gotta start thinking about putting these guys in the 180 over there where the other trimax are and then maybe moving those on so yeah, other than that, that's about all I got for you. Um, why don't I show you a couple quick uh, things too. Um, here's some inventory. Whether you're into shrimp, fish, or whatever, um, Aquatic Support Systems website 
has uh, really carrying a lot of items now. Here's all the Southern Delight um, bottles. We got mag floats. We got heaters back here. And by the way, here's kind of what the new Southern Delight bottles will look like. That's a bad example. It's crushed, but uh, what else? Uh, Southern Delight. Bunch of shrimp items from Glass Gardens right here if you're into shrimp. Bunch of MK Breed stuff. Uh, this is Blood Diamond, Blue Diamond, Low Keys, Moss Shelves. Really stocking up on things. Uh, Prime, Safe, got it all. So check out AquaticSupportSystems.com for all your aquatic needs. And uh, we'll wrap it up here. All right, so thanks again for watching. I really appreciate all you guys that do um, check out these videos. Um, tried to keep this one short, but it probably was a little bit long, but I'm gonna try to do some more of these more random vlog style, just quick, not real edited videos where I just show off a few tanks, talk to you about what's going on, that type of thing. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Recently, the channel hit a um, milestone with 13,000 subscribers. Um, I've noticed the views and the subscriber count really picking up lately. So hopefully that means I'm doing something right and you guys are enjoying um, the content. Um, let me know what your favorite tank that I showed in this video is. Let me know if there's any products that you would like aquatic support systems to carry or if there's something you're interested in as well um, that we already do carry. And uh, until the next video, thanks for watching.